in Hindi previously, but I got a request from New York that I should make this uh, video on uh, empty follicle in English. So why during IVF there is empty follicle? What happens with the follicle? If you see, this is normally the uterus and this uterus there are two ovaries and uh, this is the tube, fallopian tube and this is vagina. Now in natural pregnancy I am not going into that, the sperm goes from here and the egg comes from here and their fertilization takes place and this fertilized egg then plants into the uterus after five days. So it grows and a natural pregnancy takes place. This is the happening in a natural pregnancy. If this thing doesn't happen in any reason, either egg is not released or sperm is not reaching properly or tube is not good, if it is not happening, then we do this, take this egg outside the body through ultrasound and take the sperm of husband, make an embryo in a dish, grow it for five days till blastosis transfer and then transfer this fertilized egg or a blastosis into the uterus through vagina and this fertilization when we do it is called in vitro. This is the simple thing what we are doing in in vitro. Now normally a single egg is released every month and there is a competition between other follicles or other eggs only one wins. This is the natural way. But in IVF what we do, we want that we should have more eggs outside. So there are some competing eggs which are competent enough would have been they supported. So what we do, we support this ovary or these ovaries by injection. So these follicles which are one is going to be the champion, the others also they run together. See, and this, when we do this, there are, will be multiple follicles. This is called graphian follicle. Now, if you take one follicle in detail, so there will be a graphian follicle. This is called graphian follicle, which you see black in ultrasound, which is filled with water or water-like substance. So, this water-like substance, there is a limiting thing, which is limiting membrane. And there are many cells inside the follicle and there is a one big cell which is the egg. Now you see this egg is not directly supported by blood vessels or it is not getting food from the directly from the mother's circulation. From where it is getting food? So there are few cells which is surrounding this ov egg or oocyte these cells are called granulosa cells. These granulosa cells are of two types. One is mural that is along the wall and one is coronal. So this egg is firmly attached with the coronal cells, with mural cells and these substances which is coming, it percolates through these granulosa cells which are very important to give nutrition to the egg and it makes its life. Now, when this go up to 17 to 18 millimeter, I am taking an average. We give one injection, this is called HCG as a maturing injection. If HCG is not forbidden, then we use GnRH analog. Why we are giving? To give a maturation injection so that this egg becomes mature. There are few changes in enzymes which creates some changes which makes the egg moving. What moving? I am not going into that detail, but definitely eggs division wide it moves from germinal vesicle to division. That is a release of polar body. That is called M2. Now, after this, we put a needle inside the follicle and we suck it out. When we suck it out, we get egg along with these cells. So these cells are coronal cells and this is the egg, oocyte. Now, 
if we do this and we only get this fluid this liquid and there is no egg then it is called empty follicle does the follicle was empty or you are not able to take out the eggs or egg why this egg is not taken out normally we get the egg but if it is not coming then what happens if this hcg is not good if this hcg is not given properly if this hcg is not working on this ovary or if hcg is lesser in amount or the gnrh agonist which is the trigger is not given properly somebody has missed it somebody has not injected properly then what happens there is no enzymatic changes and when we feel that hcg or a gnrh analog has been given and we do ovum pick up these cells they grab this egg and not these eggs are not when you give it properly this egg becomes floating in the granulosa compartment and graphene follicle when it is floating it is easily coming out if it is stuck together then it is not coming out so when it is not coming out it is called empty so empty follicle syndrome is mostly a myth or misnomer sometimes few small follicles may not be able to receive this hcg dose properly when you give it few follicles they got the injection their dose and their requirement properly so that it floats so what happens if i do 10 follicle aspiration i might get 8 or 9 one or two might be empty it is not empty it is not sufficient enough to make it float so this is the main principle behind the empty follicle syndrome otherwise most of the time empty follicle is iatrogenic we just create sometimes what we do if one follicle one ovary we are aspirating and there is no follicle that means there is some problem in hcg or gnrh analog trigger so what i do i ask my embryologist if she is not or he is not getting eggs then we stop you can assess the lh or you can put another hcg injection and do the aspiration from second ovary after 36 hours so this 36 hours minimum is required 34 to 36 hours if it is lesser than 36 hours or very early then also this happens so these are the main criteria where the empty follicle happens so i think the person might be satisfied with the empty follicle it is in english so it, it is basically i have explained the ivf also if you are watching my this channel still and with me even at the end of the video please subscribe my subscribe my channel you might be my very good viewer and my well wisher plus if you become a subscriber then it will be a great boost and good enthusiasm for us so we have started our fellowship program in reproductive medicine and embryology we have established a regular course so that the new budding gynecologist and embryologist they can start their own center and they can get a recognition certificate also very thankful to you for maintaining with me with me till the end of this video thank you very much